Hey, it is Xavier once again. And in this video, I want to show you how to set up automatic potions in Path of Exile 2. And for that, I will be using a program called Ioros, which is automation tool for gaming and all other things which could benefit from computer vision. And we will be tracking how much mana we have and press a button which will consume mana potion if mana is below certain th threshold. So yeah, let's uh, set things up. Uh, first of all, create a new folder, call it Poya2, for example, then set target window and just drag, drag and drop it on passive exile window. Then the next step will be creating a new aura, which will be tracking whether that automatic potion is enabled or not. It not tracking, it will be controlling it. And let's add a hotkey, which will be enabling or disabling that functionality. In that case, I will be using F3 as a button, which will enable or disable it. Also, it is useful to add two sounds which will be played whenever this automatic potion is enabled or disabled so pick some sounds and set volume to levels which you like then the next step will be tracking how much mana we have create a folder called conditions then create aura called MP, add trigger color search. Then next step will be selecting. And yeah, by the way, how it will work. We will track how much mana we have by looking at mana globe. And we will be also using an effects. Yeah, I, I will show it afterwards. So select a thin, thin rectangle, rectangular area which will cover the entire globe. Then click on that button called effects. Then add color replacement effect. Pick something on the globe. And as you can see, like if, if I will spend here, yeah, let me show you. So if I will spend some mana, now, as you can see, instead of just having a blue bar, we will, we now have a bar filled with black and white, and we can track that, that using that same trigger, which we just have created. So we are now tracking how much, and yep, we also have to check comparison method to mathematical, which will basically make the program count number of pixels, number of black and white pixels. And now we can set, so yeah, notice, notice that similarity changes when, when I'm spending mana. Uh, also, you can set capture rate to something like 15. This will make everything more smooth. And now let's pick 50% is enough, so similarity of 50 is enough. And now we have an aura which will be active as soon as our mana is below something like 50%. It is like not perfectly accurate method of tracking mana, but it is, it is good enough for that purpose. It is good enough. Then the last step is creating behavior tree and it is it is the primary mechanism which we will be using to make the character do different actions. In this case, it will be a very simple action, which is press the button if mana is below below 50%. So initially tree is empty. Now the tree is is a concept in in behavior modeling. So it ticks periodically whenever some condition is met. So in our case, the condition will be is that that automatic potions are enabled. And now the tree will be ticking 
four times per second if we have previously enabled that automatic potions. You can set it to something like 100 milliseconds. This will be enough for, for automatic potions, more than enough. The next step will be tracking how much mana we have, and we already set an aura for that. Create a node called aura is active, which will be checking that state of that aura is enabled or disabled. In our case, it will be, it should be tracking, tracking that aura should be active. Now let's add a link. Then the next step will be doing a key press and yeah, that's that's mostly it. So this is the very basic, the basic automatic potions. And if I will spend, so first of all, let's enable. In as and as you can see, I have just pressed F three and it is activated the bot. As you can see, the tree also started ticking. And if I will spend some mana, yeah, it it just it just consumed mana potion, but. Let's throw in additional node, which will make the overall process just smoother. And it will be a cooldown node, which makes it so if some action was executed, so like if that condition was met and if the bot has pressed two, this node will ensure that that same set of actions will not be executed in in a given like time time frame so in that case i have set to five seconds so this protects the bot from repeating the same the same action multiple times as you can see i have pressed uh, i have consumed mana by using my skills and as you can see until cooldown is like ended bot does not try to do action one more time and you can repeat that same that, that same set of actions for hp as well so in in case you will add hp if in case you want to add hp tracking just throw in selector node here and just have a second set of nodes but replace that mp with hp tracking and that will make the bot periodically evaluate the tree from the top so like the logic is that it ticks 10 times per seconds and every time it starts from from the root and it go goes from top to bottom and tries to pick the best action so it goes from top to bottom from left to right so in first action which it will try to do is like whether we want to consume MP potion or not and then it will check HP. You can add other actions here as well and by the way you can click on that button which will take you to the website will, which will have documentation on different types of nodes which are present here. Using them you can build like very complex logic. And yeah that's, that's mostly it. That's first video for Path of Exile, I think first of many. See ya.